Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Frey, and I'm bringing you a gameplay that may very well help you win most, if not all, hijacked matches. Now, I'm fully aware that defending B is always a very tough achievement, and it's very tough to uphold defending B, which is why I'm bringing you this epic gameplay where I basically am in a very safe position to watch the toughest flag to defend and hijacked. Now, I'm fully aware, and I know all of you guys already know that hijacked is a small map, and defending B flag on any small map is always a very difficult task. So this is why I'm bringing you this helpful gameplay that may provide you with a very easy way to rack up kills and as well as defend the flag for your team. Now, the bonus part of this is that you also get defender kills, a lot of them. Er, and that can help you earn your kill streaks very easy. I go 42 and 2 this game with 34 defense. That is the most defense that I've ever achieved in domination on Black Ops 2. And it provides for a very decent gameplay, if I do say so myself. I can't imagine what the people who were up there were thinking when I kept shooting them through the walls. Now, let me just share with you a couple tactics that may help you. Uh, stay alive down there when people keep trying to go and kill you Because of the fact that you keep attacking them at B Some simple tactics could be plant stun grenades around The main two main entrances or the only two entrances to your position This can alert you to them trying to attack you while you're staring up at the ceiling as Well as basically give you the upper hand when they do attack you so this could be seen as overpowered, but I will share with you a ton of ways to actually flank whoever is down here. Uh, personally, I was not using flak jacket, so if someone were to chuck a grenade at me, I could easily have been killed. And, you know, with the MMS, it's a two-way street. If you're up there and you actually aim your MMS down in this position, you could take down anyone who's in this position. So it's not fairly overpowered. But I think this is a good game, because, especially because of the fact that I finally found a real good, useful purpose for the MMS. Now, I'm a, I am love rushing, so the MMS isn't the best attachment to use. For a camper, this is possibly the best ever attachment. And I personally wasn't using the, the MMS on the PDW when I first found out this a position. I was running around with my AN-94. Because I had just gotten the actual MMS. And I was just running around trying to see if I could actually look up from down there. And I found out that I could at B. People would be positioned in such a way that I could actually aim up and see them. Unfortunately, before the, I actually made any use of that, the gameplay ended. Shortly after, I prestiged my AN94 to first prestige. And I lost the MMS. Fortunately, though, I have picked up the PDW in previous confrontations with the MMS and have shot up people through the wall. Now I do recommend the MMS on this map, primarily on the PDW, because it's, you know, there's a lot of people who normally hide around the, the main hotspot of the map, which is obviously the center where B is, such as it was on wet work. They hide around the edges, and if you happen to be either uh, or anywhere really on the map with the MMS, you can basically shoot them down fairly easily through the walls. Now unfortunately you can't combine FMJ with that MMS. I guess the Treyarch developers clearly saw that this would be an overpowered tactic. But I do recommend just using a silencer, maybe extended mags and the MMS. I'm using three attachments. Normally I don't use three attachments on any SMG, but for this particular little camping spot I thought this would be the best uh, actual attachment setup that I could have. And I hope you also like the sexy golden PDW diamond camo um so uh, yeah uh, again this is kind of overpowered I, I i get it but this is it's very easy to take down people in this position um just to help you actually survive down here longer you couldn't you don't have to be staring up at b the whole time you could be staring down the hallways if you're expecting someone to come kill you and whenever you see the b flag start uh flashing because it's being captured and you realize your teammates aren't there you could go and actually 
do your job and defend the flag, play the objective, and you could basically survive for a really long amount of time. People are going to keep coming towards you to kill you because, you know, you're fucking them up at FB, and you could keep get, picking them off because you have MMS. You can stare down the hallways, um, and if, if, you're not, if you're actually busy trying to defend B, they'll, get, they'll run into the shock charge. And I do suggest you alternate where you place the shock charges, because sometimes they will actually predict where it is because they keep getting shocked in that same position, like in this gameplay. The gameplay after this is the only other time I've actually done this because, you know, once you pick hijacked, they usually do end up picking hijacked once again the next game. So, I did that. I was getting attacked a lot from down under, um, and I just kept alternating where I placed the stun grenades, and I ended up with like 51 and 8, I think. So, definitely alternate where you place that, kind of keep them thinking where it's going to be. And just to, if, if anyone actually ends up doing this and you discover them doing this, I'm not trying to ruin this map or anything. In fact, this is a very, uh, it's not actually a very good spot. I, I think the only reason I kept getting the amount of kills that I kept getting was because people kept attacking me. Don't attack a camper unless you're sure you can take them down. Just saying, that's a pro tip right there. Um, again, though, easy way to take me down. You know what delays stun grenades? The only reason I actually was aware that people were coming at me was because they kept coming at me. But at first, the reason I was aware is because they were running into my stun grenade. A great way to not get hit by a stun grenade is with Engineer. If you're running Engineer, you can delay a stun grenade, and you can come and quickly kill me before I even realize you're there. If you're using TAC Mask, that stun grenade won't really affect you at all, so you can easily take out anyone who's there if you're using extreme condition and you can just rush past that as quick as possible and take them down before they even know what hit them if you have explosives um, I, um the three previous tactics using those three perks i suggest more because most people who can't normally run flak jacket i personally wasn't running it because i wanted to let them have some kind of challenge uh or at least not come I didn't want to be completely overpowered when I was down there, so they could easily explode me with anything. Um, you know, from that angle where they are, they don't have to even trip the stun grenades, and they can shoot me with an RPG, or cook a grenade, or chuck a C4, and then shoot an RPG, and that'll take down a flak jacket. So it's it's very easy to be killed down here. And it's, it's not the best spot, but definitely, as it stands now, because many people don't know this spot, it's definitely the best spot to defend B. It's definitely the best spot so far that I've seen to defend any flag. And you could, it's a surefire way to rack up a lot of kills. And it's not completely overpowered because if anyone who sees this video, who actually just listened to, to what I said, it's very easy to take down campers who are down here. It's so easy, in fact, that's not even really an issue. But I'm glad I found a great, useful tactic for the MMS. Look at that relentless metal right there. 16 kills. Isn't that just beast? Just from staying down there. I don't promote camping. Like I said before, I love rushing. It's just I found this out and I thought it was pretty neat and I wanted to actually put it to the test. So I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Hopefully now you can actually capture or defend B uh, barely, fairly easily. And if you guys want to check out more gameplays, just feel free to subscribe. I'm posting gameplays as often as I can. And I know you guys are going to love my future uploads. So I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. My name is Trey, and I hope to see you next time.